Good morning. Uh, welcome to the world of livestock systems and environment. I'm really pleased uh, to have this opportunity to talk to you very briefly about why I love the livestock systems and environment program so much and why I want all of you to be as excited as I and the rest of the team are. So why does Hillary need the livestock systems and environment program? Basically, livestock and environment interactions are two-way. Yeah, um, so we've spent a lot of time within Hillary understanding the quote-unquote environmental bads um, that livestock have on the environment, but we also need to understand that there's quite a lot of environmental change going on uh, out in the world, and that has implications back on livestock systems as well, um, climate change being, being, being one of the most um, extreme examples. So the mission of livestock systems and environment are threefold. One is to provide good, solid evidence on the environmental impact, both good and bad of livestock. Two is to place the, the, the environmental impacts in, the con in a context that recognizes the tremendous benefits of livestock. Three is to mitigate the impact of future global environmental change on livestock. Success for LSC then is the uptake of strategies for sustainable intensification of livestock production. In terms of the Ilry Science Strategy, uh, we um, are most relevant to the, the, the area of sustainable livestock systems um, and the, the goal of improving natural resource management and ecosystem services, but a systems approach is relevant to all five areas. What are the strengths of LSE? We have four themes, um, two of which uh, are very strong and two of which offer opportunities for improvement. Adaptation and resilience is our first theme, and I've just highlighted here some of our real successes. Ibley, the work on the, for the technical consortium, and the newest area, exploring the governance dimensions um, of both adaptation to climate change and ongoing resilience. Second strong area is the environmental footprint of livestock. Uh, we've really started to move this out of the world of models and into impact on the ground, both through the Mazingira lab and efforts to use those models to really target uh, opportunities to reduce the environmental footprint of livestock. This leads me to our third theme, enhancing ecosystem services and improving natural resource management. Um, this is a new agenda for, um, that we've really been trying to grow. It's a very complex set of issues and I think you'll feel that we need to move beyond just mapping where uh, there are ecosystem services um, to really identifying with stakeholders how to explicitly manage livestock systems to enhance the provision of beneficial ecosystem services. Our fourth area then is systems analysis for intensification. Um, I have two images here which show that we do this both at the aggregate scale um, with livestock systems analysis and mapping and the household sale scale with, with targeting options um, uh, for different households. But we run the risk here of doing lots of beautiful analysis um, that doesn't get used to, 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 to take interventions to scale. So my last slide looks at prospects for collaboration. So one, I think that we need to do a better job of linking the analysis um, around ecosystem services to productivity concerns. Uh, we're starting to do this with understanding how improving productivity of livestock um, can lead to mitigation of greenhouse gas emissions, but I think we need to broaden this and look at other kinds of ecosystem services as well, for example, um, uh, provision of feed and fodder. Second, as I've just mentioned, we need to use the systems analysis to scale out for impact. Third, and perhaps I'm being provocative here, um, there's a lot of passion within the LSE program for working in dryland systems with extensive livestock production. Um, I don't see that passion shared across the rest of ILRI, um, but there's a huge opportunity for growth. Um, and then fourthly, um, is to continue what I would call some nascent collaborations, particularly with animal biosciences and food safety and zoonoses, on um, really designing strategies uh, to adapt climate, livestock systems to climate change. But again, I would argue to be provocative and stimulate some comments that a lot of this passion remains within livestock systems and environment. So thank you very much for your attention uh, and enjoy the rest of the IPM.